Listen, if you're going to be anything to the narcissist, be the one that got away. And I'm going to show you exactly how to be the one that got away. There is power in the one that got away. There is such beauty in the one that got away. There is dignity. There is strength. There is so much power in the one that got away. It's super hard to do, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And let me tell you, when you are the one that got away, you will forever and ever and ever leave a scar on these sick, sick individual. No amount of hurt that they caused you will mean anything to you. But for them, see, <laughs> this is what people don't understand. When you take back the very thing that the, the narcissist lives on, you create the exact opposite of what they try to do to you. Let me explain that. The narcissist survives on your supply, on your energy. That's how they survive. So when they're hurting you, it makes them happy. When you're crying, it makes them happy. When they can trigger you, it makes them happy. When they can get a reaction out of you, it makes them happy. And they thrive. And they sleep well at night. And they, they have strength to go out and look for the new supply to further hurt you. They have strength to smear your name. They have strength to triangulate against you. They have strength to do so much to you. And they continue to thrive as you continue to completely break down. See, when the narcissist has figured you out, when they know that they can do anything and get away with it, they can do anything and then sprinkle a little breadcrumb and then here you come running back because you are weak, you are afraid to leave, you are insecure, you feel like you need the narcissist, you feel like you cannot survive without them. When the narcissist figures this out, it's a beautiful day for them. It's a beautiful thing for them. And guess what? The treatment gets worse. The narcissist does not go like this. They go like this. And here's what I mean by that. Once they start to devalue you, they will never go back up to where you were. That pedestal that they put you on before, they will never go back to that. It goes like this. They go down until they get to hell. So the treatment gets worse. And I know you might say, but sometimes they act good. Sometimes they act bad. Comment down below. Anybody, anybody. All right. Comment down below. When do you see the narcissist act good or act like they're changing? Act like they finally see what you're saying. Act like they finally reason with you. It's when you try to leave them or when you try to put your foot down or when you try to act like, that's it. I'm not taking it anymore. What they do is they go right back to breadcrumbing. They go right back to love bombing and they'll love bomb the ish out of you to get you right back to where they want you. And then they go back to being who they are. And every time they love bomb you, the fact that they had to take their time and their energy, sometimes their little pennies to buy you flowers, to take you to your, to your um, favorite restaurant, to take you on a trip. The fact that they had to take their precious time to do this for you, when you fall for that love bomb, they will punish you for it. They will punish you worse than the last time. Can I get a witness? Can somebody comment and let the class know that I'm not crazy? Can somebody let the class know that I'm speaking the truth? Whenever the narcissist successfully love bombs you and successfully breadcrumb crumb you and you come back, when they go back to devaluing you, when they go back to treating you like crap, it's worse than the last time. And that's why I said they go like this. They never go up. It goes down. It gets deeper and deeper. The fight gets dirtier and dirtier. These folks are demonic folks. You're not dealing with regular people. You're not dealing with your everyday average Joe. 
okay if you have dealt with a real narcissist i'm not talking about especially for the ladies i'm not talking about people who um you know, people who date playboys or f boys who just play with them and you know dump them and go ghost and go by their business. The narcissist has a mission to conquer and destroy. That's their mission. They don't easily let their supplies go because once once they capture you as a supply, they see you now as their property for the rest of their lives. They see you as their property. And that's why you'll see that sometimes when the narcissist discard you, they still come back. The reason they come back is not because they love you. They come back to see how stupid you still are. They come back to see how powerful they still are. They come back to see how much control and relevance they still have in your life. And you're over there thinking, oh, he changed. He wants me back. I'm special. I'm important. I knew he wants me. I knew he loves me. Let me go on back and, you know, give another chance. When you go back, the treatment is worse. Because they will punish you for having the audacity. The audacity to leave them. Even though they left you, but if you agreed with the leaving of you, <laughs> they will punish you for it. So these are the kind of people we're dealing with. And a lot of people who haven't dealt with this will never understand. It's really hard to really convey what you went through as the empath or, or the victim or even the survivor. It's really, really hard to really articulate this to other people. And that is why I decided to start sh sharing these stories because I was one I was once there. I was in the place where I couldn't even fix my mouth to really express to people, my friends and family, what I was really seeing, what I was really experiencing. It took going to social media to hear other people talk about it, to finally feel like, wow, I'm not crazy. I'm dealing with an actual monster. This is it's this gets really really deep. It gets really really deep. So that's why I tell people, if you have the opportunity to leave the narcissist, don't come back. And yes, it's super hard because you want closure. You want to feel important. You want to feel chosen. Even though you know that this person is no good. This person is a complete demon. This person will never make you happy. Because you've seen them love bomb, discard. Love bomb, discard. Love bomb, discard. You've seen them disregard your feelings. You've seen them violate you in the worst way. You've seen them hurt you like you were nothing. But it feels good when they come back and say, I'm sorry. Because the narcissist, their apology is never real. It's the fakest thing. It's fake. It's faker than fiction. But it feels good to feel heard. It feels good to feel like you finally got through to them. So when they come back to hoover you, and they put a lot of effort in hoovering people, when they come back, it feels good. So you want to believe it. But I'm telling you, when you watch all of these videos here on TikTok, here on YouTube, when you watch these videos and really, really come to the conclusion that you are dealing with a narcissist, if you get the strength to leave, please leave and don't come back leave in peace leave and don't fight them back leave and don't defend yourself against them don't tell your side of the story to them don't do any of that just leave and try to heal that is your best revenge that is your best way to love yourself again Please leave your comments below if you have experienced something like this. And also follow me for more content. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me if you would like to bounce ideas off me and hear my um, thoughts on this. Follow for more.